Hey everybody, XGI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, we are in, not Tatooine, but something that sounds like Tatooine. <laughs> That's how little I know. The cat hounds have been very active of late. Cat hounds, you the say? The settlers feel they are becoming more dangerous. All right, well, I'm sure that's going to be our next grinding location. So we need to go and talk to the Jedi Council. Was this already lit for me because I needed to go? That's where they are? Nope, that's where they are. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to beeline to the Jedi Council. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? And then we'll, we'll spend some time talking to people. You look like a dude with a quest. You have a name, Disra. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of it. Let's just stay on task here. For once. Belea. Yeah. Oh, Adawan. there you go. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Um, not a Jedi? Are you a Jedi? I believe I'm mistaken. I am not a Padawan. I am Chris Powell. I came here with Bastila. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young, though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as yeah, she for lost you, her uh, blade. You claim you are not a Padawan. I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. Whoa. I can feel its presence. If this is some so type say. of jest, it is in very poor taste. No, I have the dreams. The Jedi Order is not a subject for you know, jokes. Like all heroes do. Um, I've seen the future or the past or something. <laughs> I am telling you the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. Dantooine, not Tan Tatooine. <laughs> Dantooine, the sister planet of Tatooine. I'm sure it's all related. I'm going to go left. Uh... Oh hey Garth, what's up? Dude? They're waiting up? for you inside. Oh, it's like I, it's like I. Whoa, no, for sure. I'm like, sort of stumbled on this stuff. A what now? Training computer, and a dojo, and a workbench. It's my ah, new hub. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. <gasps> they have it a Yoda. Is appropriate, you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook. Master Vandar, oh. and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Uh, what do you want from me? So you've drawn me into your little trap, Bastila? What now? Isn't the Jedi Council on I Coruscant? Coruscant? Uh, I've got some questions for all of you. Sure. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Why am I a special Bastila case? tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Booyah. Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. I don't know if I'm ready for this. That is what a hero on his journey would say. They know the patterns, so I'm going to deny worry. that I'm ready. I am confident in your ability to learn. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events it's that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the force. There's only the force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion. There is no it try. Is wild and untamed. I'm now not a complete that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder no. will it be for an adult to learn oh, the ways okay, no. of the Jedi? Stuck in the old, in the in the ways of adulthood stubborn uh i am willing to try my best i am ready to accept the training and my age has nothing to do with it i'm willing to try traditionally my best. the jedi do not accept adults for training though really? there are rare exceptions in the history of our order but you are a special case i agree with master dorak 
Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hall and leave suspicions. you to your deliberations. Oh, yeah, I'm have another dream. Hmm? Right before, I, right before the Act 2. Vital information right here. getting stranger by the That's minute. That's correct. Oh. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost. Or not. And now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Uh, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall. And for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. Okay, well, I guess I'm taking you for sure um i mean i just got you but mm, i don't think candace belongs here i'm gonna go with uh should we go my little buddy no i'm gonna go with mission let's go mission uh, are you sure this is the party configuration you want should i second guess this yes we got a leveler what? here you are going to level up uh, with all of the awesome stuff that you can do. Nines to tens, and now we have two points left over. So treat injury and uh, remaining points zero. So accept. You got a sneak attack four. Damn! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Level eight. Okay. Attributes. Yes. Booyah. Skills to eleven. Um. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What am I missing? Oh, I got one point here. No, cross class, cross class, so saved. Uh, okay, feats. I don't know, what do I want to do with you? Um, no, let's keep you in light. Critical strike. Uh, what's this one? Plus one. Plus two, and then... Oh, there's other stuff that triggers. Replace plus two and given... Anyways, uh, no. Let's go down here. Rapid shot. Yeah, let's go improve. She's ranged. She's ranged. Let's go ra improved rapid shot, maybe. Ooh, no, 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 no. She's blaster pistol. Yeah, let's go. There you go. Plus one. Right? That sounds like the right thing to do. <laughs> this is what now? Oh, sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, these are coming automatically, though. Level nine scoundrel. Okay. Scoundrel's luck. I love it. Uh, dueling. She can duel. Nah, let's go. I'm gonna go blaster pistol. Maybe. What's this one give you? Allows characters to make an extra ranged attack during the round. Characters suffer a negative two to defense while this... Okay, for three seconds after. Yeah, okay. Mm. Let's go with a blaster pistol. Five plus one. Alright, and then accept and close. Hello. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Speak with Mission. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... It's... It's just gone. Malak will pay for what he did, Mission. Yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so... I figure Malak's days are numbered, too. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malak or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Sweet. Hey, Karth, yes, you want to say something? Mind. You want to talk about some stuff? Have anything Dantooine's about this place? a boring place. It's all planes and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You Nothing about Saul? Okay. How about my quest log? Did you leave your crap in my quest log? 
<laughs> okay, well, no. what the hell? What's wrong? Why isn't mission in here? Put mission in here. Now we have Candorus in here. We don't have a mission. We don't have the Wookiee with Zalabar. We don't have Tima. Ooh, you have now regained possession of the Ebon Hawk. Your own space vessel. I'm gonna travel to the galaxy. Ooh, this is gonna be like our definitely like an like a Normandy traveling through space. Mm -hmm. Let's see a bunch of things. One of the holes there's a workshop. Additionally, it would seem that Davak had stored a swoop bike. What he's got a swoop bike? Our old Mako? Oh my gosh. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Don't get overwhelmed. Let's go this way. I talked to you. Oh my gosh. I've clicked on my scroll. I've done something. Stop. Stop. Okay. There we go. Uh, talk to the named people and then take class. Okay, greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for... What did I just... Never mind, I was thinking about something else. I just... Okay, ask you a question. Yes, go ahead. Only if I get to ask you something... For... Yeah, okay, go ahead. I represent a human civilization, citizen uh, of Dantooine, by the name of Rundil. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for okay. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Well you have news of her, her name is Sasha. Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. Do you actually believe she's still alive? I have no idea. What you're talking about. Oh, that is too bad. I shall have to continue my search. Are uh, are problems with Mandalorians common on Datooine? Is this something the local authorities should handle? Is there anything of interest? Yeah, sure. Between um, has a little in the way of local authority sentient. I asked the Jedi of the Enclave to intervene, but they have far more pressing concerns to attend to. Uh, so much for the Light Force. Uh, as is often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. You mean like the Dark Force? Just do whatever. Is there anything of interest? Okay. Are there a problem? Are there a problem? No uh, I understand they are. Though I know little of the history behind this conflict, someone native to this planet could tell you more. Okay. Uh, is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you could tell me about? There is no larger urban center on Dar Dantooine. If, there is, if that is what interests you, I find the variety and number of natural habitats to be most intriguing, however. If you had a chance, I would urge you to explore the planet's ranges in more detail. Yeah, they are quite beautiful. So we'll be doing some roaming around, I think, on foot, perhaps. Hmm? I'll keep an eye out for the girl. Appreciate that. Okay, don't wait. Left is that door. Is it? Uh, is this thing closed? Let's just do a double check here. Do I have the right people? Well, I couldn't take her, the um, Basila. Named person, Dizra. Uh, welcome to the Enclave. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Dizra Lerdet Jada Jada. You may call me Dizra. I have not heard of any new princes being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? Uh, Bastila? Yes, of course, I should have known. I have only heard a little of how she escaped the destruction of Terrace. Tell me, did she save you from the planet as well? She didn't save me. We worked together to escape Terrace. She actually had, well, one part, and then she didn't have, had nothing to do with the second part. Get your story straight. I'm the one who saved her. I don't care. We work together. That's just it's fine. I see. Well, I meant no offense, of course. In any case, it is good to have her back here on Dantooine again. We were afraid Malak had captured her. I hope you enjoy your time here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. And also with you, Deidre. Okay, uh, Jedi no name. I fear it is only a matter of time before the Sith find us here. Too. Don't be so negative. Okay, this takes you to the, takes me to the council. I don't want to go to the council right now. Let's, Balea. Oh, you're wanderers. That's why you disappeared. If you are obviously. seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. I'm afraid right I cannot. Okay, well, just checking, just making friends, you know, stealing everything from everybody because who cares? <gasps> Sola. S A U L. You've the look of a seasoned Pazak player. Ooh, Pazak. And download from time to time. Care for a game? Only if you have a quest. Uh, do you have any cars to sell? Sure, I'll play. Who are you? I am Sola. 
And to be perfectly blunt, my business is my own. I do offer you, though, the company of my time for a game or two of Pazak. Do you care for a hand? Okay, fine. Twist my arm. Go ahead, twist my arm. Oh, jeez. Uh, how much do you want to wager? Uh, that's fine. Okay, I can... Um, I'm just going to play with the standards. Ooh, that looks that sounds like a crazy wild card. Plus minus one I can choose. That's probably what I want to eventually play, but I'm just gonna play. I think I could beat him with standard cards. And turn. So far so good. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Here. I will play my two, and we will be tied. How's that? Okay. It's all luck, man. Ooh, yikes. Ooh, I got this, though. I can do this. And stand. Oh, it'll automatically stand because of the 20. Yeah, got him. That's good. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, in turn. Eight. Yeah, I like when he's higher than me on that. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop. Oh, bing. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> One more. We can do this. And turn. Still got three cards. Yeah, but if he doesn't have any negatives in there to, like, counteract himself. Oh, snap. Well done. Ooh. I need to draw one here or a four. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, sun's about to set. Because his name is Saul. That's the... Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh. I'm going to lose this one. There's no way I'm going to lock out and get... There's no way. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> well, what happens now if he get... No, because he can just stand and he wins. Yeah. That's okay. Still got one card. I got a three here. I got really lucky. A couple rounds there. But two of them turned into draws. That's my problem. And now, I've, oh, now he's only got one card left. So it becomes a game of pure chance at this point. Uh, uh, I got a stand. Yeah, he's got a 20. I was feeling so hopeful. So hopeful. <sighs> Why do you have to do this to me? Come on, give, damn it. Damn it. Ugh. Done, you got me. Oh, no way. Okay. Make my money back. What, are you sure you, are you sure you want to use this sidekick? The hell does that mean? Wait, what? Are you sure you want to use a sidekick? I don't know. What does a sidekick mean? What? Okay, well, anyways, end turn. Let's see. Um, I have another choice. Let's see what happens. There we go. And stand. Is this. Oh, damn it. Well, one for one. We both used a card there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 12 to 18, uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't have a 5, so it's at 50-50, I think they go to 10, right? So, oh, I hit a 21. <clears throat> so he just stands and wins, okay. Oh, no, it's the worst if they get a 5 right there. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to walk away. I don't know if this is worth it or not, if there's a quest, but I'm not I'm not spending my time doing this. It's a little too chancy. I know I could get different cards that like have different variations and stuff like that, but it's still super chancy. Boom. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. I was so positive I was gonna have in that first game. <laughs> Dang it. It's way too much money to lose. Now I gotta steal everyone's shit. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you? F uh, Why hey, are you bothering me? I'm here to speak I with the council. I am not here to not steal your stuff. Servant. 
Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Oh, is that right? Is that right? What's in the box? What's in the box, Alan? You're lucky. You're lucky you leave that thing closed. This person isn't even in their room. That's their fault. See ya. <laughs> I made back my 240k credits. That's what. I'm gonna tear you apart. I'm gonna tear for parts. I'm gonna sell you for parts. Hey, son. I am not doing anything wrong. Uh, Jedi droid. The council has decreed you must not leave the autoclave. Please Egg return to your room. I see. We're still getting uh, pseudo railroaded, you say. Hmm? Did I finish everything over here? Well, let's just check the map. I did. What's this for here, though? Aerotech. Oh, it's merchant. Yes. I do want to go to the store. Let's see what they got. Maybe they got some U blades for us. Oh, if I'm going to be a Jedi, I'm going to get a lightsaber, though. Mm, I would take that lightsaber. Mm -hmm. um, mercantile. What do you got for me, Kratos? I assume you're not a member of the Order, uh, as you are not wearing the traditional garb. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Kratos Yurkal, proprietor of the general store. I mean, look at this plant. Majestic fields, rolling plains, wide open terra firma. Alvo room, once word gets out, we'll have settlers and tourists from the Galactic Corps just dying to something rather, and I skip that by accident. I <laughs> don't come here to listen to my ramblings, evil Circa Corps. I'll bet uh, something right. Jeez, what can I do for you? Well, you're a store. I came here to shop, but if you have something to say about this Circa Corporation, please go on. Don't get me started. They've got a monopoly on half the galaxy already, and they do everything they can to keep anyone else from getting a foothold in their territory. Extortion, bribing officials, and government diplomats. Not to mention driving up prices and essentials like food and water in distant colonies. I've heard stories of them letting people starve to death because they couldn't afford their jacked up prices. And since they're thrown, since they've thrown themselves in with the Sith, something rather. It's gotten worse, okay. Worse, how do they get worse? Taking up expensive war, equipment resources, opportunity and morals, uh, training with it, they're okay. Uh, it's bad enough, finance the Sith War. Okay, so they're bad dudes. Slaving, yeah, they gotta do all this stuff. Okay, indigenous species, Sith Corp, okay. Uh, I, it's just too distracting anyways, I'll get it. They're evil, I got it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'd like to see what you got. Excellent, great, excellent. My head gets so full. Why Why do they have to do it this way? Why do they have to do it this way? You know what would be a better way? Is if they just didn't speak. They just showed the text. And it put it like in square brackets. An alien. Okay. What do we got? Military suit. I got all of this. Light armor. Got Ooh, what's this one? Sanasic keys. Blade. Plus two. Oh, 1d10. 1d10 plus 2. Damn. Alright. Uh, 3 versus droids. It's balanced. Attack modifier. Oh, I see. It's a... Um... Is this a staff, though? Melee weapon. I want to do... Hold. It doesn't look like a staff. It would look like a staff. That looks like a blade. It looks neat. But let's... Uh, what's this one? Okay. Interface band. I would like my other plus one to strength. If I could get it. Breath. Ooh, poison. Immunity to poison. Damn. Wow. Awareness. Ooh, dexterity. I could probably use another one of these. How much? <laughs> Damn, 7,000. Take it back. Hold on. Hold on there. Ooh, plus two enhancer. 8,500. Okay. Oh baby, this is good. Well, there's a lot of buffers here. Oh, the cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much are the cards in? 25. If I wanted to get... Ooh, that negative 6 one though, right? Yeah, but it's like you have one of your 10 cards, and then you draw 4. So you m might never get it in your hand. So it's all... It's all it's all odds, anyways. It's all odds, man. Uh, unless you... Uh, Okay, let's see what we can sell. 
surely I've got some stuff we can sell. Um, like clothing. Let's get rid of that. One combat suit, sure. Ooh, I had a what? What's the other guy's his his stuff? What was it called? What was it was it Davix war suit? <gasps> An eight. Yes. Okay, so I'll do that. Well, you know what? If I have these, are both meat. No, this is light. This is light. This gives more armor. This is not gives it gives more armor. Oh, I see, but less dexterity. But it doesn't matter. It does, but. What else do you get? Oh, it's just a description. Mini Elite. A Chinese dual Duelist. Okay, so Duelist. Protections and Basic. Okay, um... Yeah, this one's gone. Alright, and then we have a bunch of stuff here. I don't know if I need... Oh, what blade and sword? 1d10. Oh. 2d6. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Uh, ultrasonic... Oh, Vibro Sword. Wait. Vibro Sword doesn't have balanced. Wait. But then this one's cheaper? This does more damage, but it's not balanced. This one's balanced for two weapons. Hmm. Hmm. That's a hard. That's a hard. That's a hard. Not really. <laughs> Depends if you got two. I don't have any one right now. That's going to be two weapons here. That's gone. I don't even think I need the viral sword to be honest. I got the stick. This is so crappy. Volcar's oh, it's a shock stick. Twenty-five percent chance. Oh, I just thought of a crazy combo. Couldn't Chris like have a shock stick in one hand and a and a blade in the other, and then just like twenty-five percent chance to stun, and then chop 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 chop. Ooh, if he was a rogue, damn, you could shock, and then you'd get crits. If I recall my D20 system mechanics correctly. Stun. They don't move. Crits. <laughs> Fairly certain that's how it works. Oh, I'm wondering if like... It's too late now. I've given her feats for like pistol. But I would put like mission as a two weapon. I Yeah. Put a shock and a friggin' blade. Even now I'm thinking Chris. I wouldn't get the crit. But they wouldn't fight back. I'm gonna keep that around. I was gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep that around. I don't need this many heavy blasters. Hell, you know what? One, one, and one pistol. That's it. Uh, ion right one. One, I said. We have a boat. Well, no, that's fine. I don't wanna overthink this. Here, one of this. One of each. Um, and then we'll keep all of those. Uh, ooh, what, what's this thing? Uh, improved power blast. Is designed to enhance the user's ability to target and deal damage. So you get a feat for it. Bonus feat. So Zaid gets this. Candorous. Candorous. Uh, Brajex armband. Brajex. Brajex armband? When used in conjunction with his, when used in conjunction with his belt, generates an effective barrier against. Oh, with his belt. Oh, I might have like. Did this come off someone? Off of uh, her, Basila? Because now she's here. Oh, maybe, maybe. I'm seeing a lot of stuff here that I thought was on people. I'm spending way too much time in here. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, oh! I gotta upgrade some stuff, man. Damn. Hair trigger. Oh gosh, I need to update some stuff. Flamethrower. What? <laughs> oh, shield disruptor. Flamethrower. <laughs> horror. What's horror? Oh, they get. They see it and they got. There's a chance of horror? 100% for three seconds. Whoa. Target 7th level and up. Ignore horror effects. Okay. Neat. <laughs> I'll read that more closely later on. Let's close this off. That seems like, sounds like it could be fun. In Carol. No Carl. Carol Carr. Owner of this outpost. My protocol droids are not programmed to interact with customers. So should you desire assistance, I can aid you. Let me see what you have in stock. Oh, damn. We still got another guy. Uh, oh. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Three. For 250? 
Can I just put this on him? I'll put it on him. He deserves it. He's a good boy. I'm gonna do it. 250. I'm gonna buy. Uh, what else do we have? I've seen that. Ay, 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 ay. Sun ray shield. That's fine. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me first, first, uh -huh. let me see what you have again. What do you have? Oh, my gosh. I feel bad. We have tons of them. So I'm just going to put them on everybody. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, though. What are you playing? 1.16? 1d6? Oh, God. That's so tempting, though. Um, blaster pistol. I need a, oh, a heavy blaster. 1d8. Uh, disruptor. Range. Oh, that's a physical four. Oh, because they could put the shields on and then they, so it's 1d4, but then if they'll get past shields, you know? All right. Still, we're going to go heavy blaster for her. What else can I put on you? You look like you could definitely use, a w oh. You can be awareness person. Improved power blast designed to enhance the user's ability to target and deal damage when using a blaster. That feels like appropriate to her. But I want um Candorous to be the best shot. But doesn't he already have he he already has improved power blast, I think. So you know what, you take it for now. I'm gonna have to remember what you got. I'm gonna have to we might have to switch it out. Dude, it's been so long. Um, adrenaline modifier, reflex. Yeah, let's put reflex save on you. You're also going to take two of the... What the? Wait, what's this thing then? Oh, there it is. When used in conjunction with this... Oh, no, no, no. I need, my, oh, I need the belt. Where's the belt? I need this on Chris because he's in melee. And so I would love to get that resistance. Mm-hmm. And then we have an oral lamp for aura, our awareness. Sure, let's do that. But dude, dude, my dude, dude, dude. Hold on, and let me see your, you have what? Six. I don't think I have, I have a seven. Chris has a seven. I can give it to him. He's, he's fine for now. I need to find who has the belt. Stealth generator. Hmm. Do I have the belt? Bridgex belt. And then, uh, this one for Bridget's armband. Yeah, I think that's good. So wait, does this? Let me read this again. Damage? No, it's just resistance. It's not. There's no yeah uses or anything like that. Hmm. Will this implant does what again? Dexterity. I need the implant shop. I need to get that up. And then it's like this debate right here, man. Prototype Vibro Blade. Not this one. This one. Vibro Blade. 1d10. 1d10 plus 2. It's not balanced. But. Plus 2. Or. I can shoot and have a. What? <laughs> Wait, where's the stun? I was came here for the stun thing. Um, shock stick, right? Oh my gosh, though. You cannot equip this weapon while an incompa incompatible weapon is okay. Okay. <laughs> Did they, is it, is it, it's probably because a stick is like the two hands. Anyways, that's good enough for me. Um, what I can do here, party selection. Uh, we're gonna remove you, add you. Real quick, come here, bud. And then, geez, I'm gonna do a leveling episode here. <laughs> Not my intention, but attributes. Good for you, you don't have anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I have to do it, I have to do it. I want him, he's gotta be the best hacker ever. Uh, two points, two point, two point, two points. Yeah, save it. Uh, yep, and then accept. And buddy, buddy, you're going to get yourself a. You cannot equip this item. You don't have the free. <sighs> 
feats required. Damn it. <laughs> well, now I have it. Now I have it. You'll you'll use it soon, buddy. You'll use it soon. Two to seven? Bendax pistol. Is there a special thing to the Bendax pistol? It's balance, attack, moder no, so you know what? At one D six plus one or no, that is the best one you have. Okay, Ben Axe Pistol it is. All right, that's all I wanted from you, bud. Um, we're going to do party selection again. I don't think it's the Wookiee here. Take you off, put you on. Huh? Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, man. Now, uh, you're not really in melee. You're shooting. Your dexterity should be high higher if you're shooting. So now I'm confused as, as to how to deal with this. Do I just give him melee stuff? No, he's gonna, I'm gonna start increasing his dexterity. That's silly. All right, and then just heal yourself. And feats. We are going to do, I think, yep, level eight, level three implants. That sounds good to me. Ooh, ooh let me improve power blast. He does have already, he already has it. So we can go here, as plus 10 to damage. Negative three to hit, so definitely higher level benefits there. Um, um, if I stick the rifles, I get a plus one here and then a plus two. Um, hmm. Toughness gives me hit points. Ah, oh, this feels like overkill right now. This one, probably the best. Um, best bang for the buck. Plus ten, man. Yeah. Let's do that, and then I'll do the uh, implant next, I think. And you have, let me check this again, Ordo's repeating, 1d10 plus 1, okay, repeating blaster, okay, 1d10 plus 1. This one is 1d10 plus 1. 17 to 20 crit range. Damn. Wow. Wow, dude, you want this Alibar's bowcaster, man? Yup. Bowcaster. There you go. Um, oh, I see, because it's two hands. Okay. And then we have... Let me just double check. That's the case the grenade falls on him. Oops. I meant to do something. Hold on. And then... I don't have anything. Willpower. That's fine. I need to go. Oh, God. I immediately forgot what I was doing. Right here. And then I have an 8 in here. There we go. Davex War Suit. Oh, Max 633. <laughs> this is where it matters. Well, I'm only going to get the plus 1 to Dexterity. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm never going to get a plus 2 unless I get a buff. I'll probably do an implant or something. For what? Why would I, why would I do that? For reflex save and AC. Get an extra plus two to AC, I suppose, if I get it up to 14. And then we stop. And that's it. Oh, what? Oh, plus three. Up to plus three. Oh, even better. I could get some stuff that gets me up to a plus to 16 dexterity. Okay, so I think now the equipment is done. Did you like your... Uh, I like it. Uh, got our own little uh, Bianca on the team. <laughs> Um, uh, oh, who else might want to talk? Well, this guy, to be honest. Yeah, let's roam around with this guy. Let's, let's take a walk. Candorous. <gasps> let's see what he, uh, yeah, this is looking good. Like it. All right, I guess we got to go back to the council. I've been wandering long enough. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is probably like something like major with the council and, uh, because they sent me back to them. It's probably Jedi in the making here and. You guys waiting for it and all i'm doing is messing around with my toys messing around with my toys because if i don't do it now i'm gonna forget to do it when it's important is there any nope hold on oh training room i didn't check this room right here uh, is there anything to steal i need to get my money back oh there's this thing uh, excuse me i know i just finished saying i just fi <laughs> hold on hold hold on does it always, so if I do this, how does it know there's only one thing for each thing out there? There's only one thing, so I never get confused, confusing. Hmm. That turn up, okay, so 
if that's the case. So it checks who you have with you. And then there's only one type of upgrade. So as soon as you fill them in, that's it. That weapon is updated. There's no level two of this thing, level two of this thing sort of thing. They don't scale. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let's get Ordo's repeating blaster. Shoot. But I could do the Zalabar. Let's say, oops. Yeah. I think I'm bringing him before I bring. Yeah, let's do that instead. I want to play with him more. See how he does with it as a shooter. And then we have the armor here. Bang. Oh, shoot. Let me think this through. I screwed something up then. So the other thing stayed. Oh, no. <laughs> so I switched the weapons out, the armor out, and it kept the update. Dang. Damn. That's a little weird because then I have to, oh, damn. Do I have to do this for real? I'm gonna go like this and then I gotta, oh, shoot. That sucks because I'm not gonna remember the stuff that I pulled off, do you know what I mean? Oh, I wish it just showed everything, no. <laughs> damn it. Oh, no, it remembered. Oh, good. That's good. I think the game is great. <laughs> game did it great. Just it's just you put them put the stuff away. It removes all of the mods again, and then unless I miss unless I'm doing this wrong, unless I misunderstood something right there. Lightsaber update. Okay, uh, let's not touch the training panel. I'm pretty sure. Bastila has important. told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream, a vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Dungeon Perhaps crawl. they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. I don't want to talk about it. Just to let you know, by the way, I have not seen what they're talking about. <laughs> for some reason, I noticed this in uh, one of the episodes I just edited, where... I had to stitch in just a clip of a ship flying before Malik appears. And he does that whole, um, before he tells the one guy, like he says, he's going to bombard the planet. And the guy says, uh, like, you know, he, he, whatever he says, he's not going to do well to think about the, think about the people, think about the instant people. And it's like, do you want to die? Basically? Uh, I didn't get the movie before that. For some reason I had to cut that splice, but if you don't see my head in the corner, it's cause I haven't seen it. And then I have to, I have all of the videos um, and so, and they're in order. And so I, I s watch them until I get to the black screen and I slice. And then I start moving those into my edits because some of them aren't showing <laughs> for you. So uh, that was one that didn't show. Um, and I didn't see this thing, whatever they just said, it, cause when I was dreaming and I made the comment of, am I having a dream? I did not see anything. So. I need to watch whatever they're talking about uh, after I play this and I have to watch it and then I'm going to have to splice it back in. So you're not going to get my feedback on that because I have no idea what it is, but it's likely the next clip in my stack that I can slice out. Okay. So uh, yes, it seems, it seems they were searching for something. Um, I don't want to talk about it. What, how would Basla know if we, Oh, that's, she says better. she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. I think I need to pull up that clip. The Force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. There's probably something vital because <laughs> it would have been on that transition to act two and whatever happens at at the start of this planet is vital to the story that they're telling um, just from a narrative patterns framework thing. Um, I need to know what that I'm probably going to watch it before I sign this video off after this talk. I'm going to have to make some assumptions now and then I'll watch it. I'll comment and then I have to do some editing shenanigans again. Uh, I am having visions. I am having visions now. Like, like right now in this council room, you think you're having visions right now? 
I trust your greater wisdom. No, I don't trust anything right now. I have you visions. and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. Yeah, that's and curious. Each other. This is thoughts. not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But oh, really, yeah? does a bond develop so quickly? Whatever dangers it's not my master. Ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Uh, yes, I'm ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time, until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, hmm. giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are turning to the dark side. We know this from Saul. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the mm. Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some mm. clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall so find a way to stop them. How are we having a dream of two other people? Because if she shared this dream, was she there? That's, I need to watch this video. Uh, I'm ready now. I accept the mission. I don't know if I want to do this. It sounds dangerous. No, that the, the, the self-denial is over now. You're kind of accepting it. You're going to finish Act 1 here, Chris Powell. The force flows through you like no you're student go we have ever it. seen. But you're you willful and headstrong. The call a dangerous combination. to adventure. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in this the ways always of the Jedi. A journey so somewhere the darkness within through yourself, a forest within all to ruins otherwise you are doomed to fail it's kind of a uh, ruins it's like symbolically I would say ruins is like the past right it's uh it's kind of like uh, you got to go you got to go deeper into the past to understand your present to then under, to then uh, understand how to um, confront the future sort of thing that's kind of my, my reading of why it's ruins instead of forest the forest is usually um you trying to find the destiny of the forest represents like being lost like just kind of finding the path that's why there's usually a path that gets discovered in the forest and then the heroes kind of get on the path and that's them kind of understanding the purpose and that's the symbol there for forest and fantasy um anyway so uh you don't have time uh, we don't have time for this as you wish master vandar why am i just gonna accept masters all of a sudden Sure. We must begin. I was gonna say no, but no, no, no. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The I'm embracing this destiny concept. Upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. Oh, the path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Yes, captured. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. Hey -oh. To truly understand the way of the Jedi. You must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you Damn. are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. 
In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. No, oh, passage of time. Uh, one of the greatest signs of Act 1 to Act 2 is the montage. The Order. We just saw it. Soon so we're 20% through the game. <laughs> and you will be granted the title Story. of Padawan. That's how it works. I'm sorry. 20, yeah. 20 to 25%. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. What must I do to prove myself? I want to ask some questions. No, I'm good. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I'm ready for the tests, Master Czar. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, Sweet. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide you. I am a noob. In you don't understand. You, do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. Uh -oh. You must prove you have a Jedi's uh -oh. understanding. Maybe of I the should code. have asked questions. Return when you feel you are ready for this. Oh, challenge. I can go and reason. Oh, the training, the training kiosk thing. Okay. Kiosk. We're gonna check our training here. I got a what now? Access the information and begin training. I'll continue. Oh, welcome, sentient. It is important for the peace and harmony of all beings that the, pa the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood only through knowledge can all see the truth of the Force. Jedi Guardians train for battle and physical prowess. In contrast, Jedi Consulars seek to master the awesome powers of the Force. Jedi Sentinels seek to find a balance between these two extremes. So Mass Effectian. <laughs> Guardians, counselors, and sentinels, huh? Tell me more about guardians. Battle against the force of evil and the dark side. They focus on combat training and masterful use of the lightsaber. Yes. Ten vitality. Ten vitality a level. Four force points a level. Slow skill progression. Fast feet. Oh, that's fine. Well, I didn't click anything. All right. Okay. Bring balance to the universe. They focus on physical combat and more on mental, less on physical, more on mental in order to augment their mastery of the force. So, so vitality is kind of like a, it's like an endurance or like a health. It's a, it's a concept in D20 mechanics that I believe Star Wars did introduce even before D20, I think. So, uh, sort of familiar sort of familiar okay so and then sentinel between a balance between physical and mental okay so there's six eight ten four six eight average skill slow feet no i'm gonna go guardian this without a doubt so without a doubt without a doubt six eight and then sentinel eight yeah six average slow counselor slow slow because you get all the points i don't want to do that guardian okay um show me a statistical comparison oh, assist. oh nice oh it's gonna be clicking back and forth and then this just talks about it. Okay, that's fine. Show me statistical. Okay, log off. Oh, is that the training? I just say I want to be a guardian. I don't know. Let's find out. Greetings, my young pupil. Your oh, I want to watch that thing. Most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training? Yes. Oh shoot! Wait, no, no, not right now. Wait. You have learned. When you feel that you are ready. So 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 sorry. I probably need to talk to people and learn stuff, right? Okay, here's, I need to get, I have it in my, hopefully this stays recording. Let's crossing fingers here. Here it goes. So far so good. I was exporting, I was exporting the episode this is in, to be honest. So hold on. Um, 
episode 11. I'll watch it and then I'll cut it in. So here it's on my look. Here we go. You're going to hear the audio though. How am I going to do this? That's okay. I'll figure something out. All right, here it goes. We got black cape and red. Dude. Oh, that's Malik. Oh, Revan. The dark side. Oh, he doesn't have things on his face. I can feel its power. What oh, did it happen here? Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? So is Revan above Malik? Okay, that's it. Well, let's put a slice in this now, because so now there you go and then I move the rest down the line so I never look at it okay save all right so my my assumption is, I mean there's something going on with Revan we're at the end of the episode here but uh, I want to talk to some people here but my assumption right now is like when the scene happened with Basila and Revan and that explosion happens and Revan just falls to the floor um, I'm I think something happened there where I think it was some sort of like Sith trick or jet whatever the hell is going on there where the force was used and uh, maybe maybe the last Jedi the well God I don't even I don't because I didn't really enjoy it the last Star Wars movie man episode eight uh, where Luke Skywalker does the whole projection thing so I think maybe something like that happened there's some sort of projection happened now if the whole dream started after the encounter let me think this through what was the first dream sequence she was facing off against someone. And then the second one is the Revan encounter and then Revan falls flat and then you guys get together and then you tell her about the dream. So I'm wondering if like she's got some connection. There's something that's happened there where um, I don't know, like Revan. I think there's some sort of essence that's existing somewhere between these two where that's their what that's what they're seeing so like be and then so it takes us to the third dream sequence and rule of threes in fantasy uh, always pay attention to the rule of threes uh, the third one's always going to be more important than the other two so and it's always going to be an escalation of sorts so this escalation here is now we have a scene where it's Revan and Malik where Bastila isn't there so you're not seeing a vision of her which means that you're seeing a vision of and I, if I had to assume is part of the essence of Revan is in is in your character uh so chris powell in this case or a combination of chris and basil because basil is there and so there's like some sort of like a hijacking going on or some sort of shared consciousness going on so that he can then come back and and do his thing so i us talk to these folks we might have to learn some stuff here because i think i need to learn jackass oh i'm gonna punch in them you just and you're but you, get, oh, you do not mind. know the Jedi code. No, I'm the not a Jedi. I don't care. Doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the code. Basil brought me here. Are the fundamental teachings of our order. I'm, no I'm a sorcerer. It's innate There's to me. Peace. There's no ignorance. There's knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, apprentice. Oh my gosh! Or we uh, shall all I'm not going to remember that. To accept you into the order. I oh journal entry. Okay, maybe that'll help. But what do you mean, I'm apprentice? Mm -hmm. Okay, my training uh, is progressing well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. So do I. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, apprentice. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history well, talk are of the doomed past. to repeat We're going to ruins. It. Or so they say. As a chronicler mm. of the academy here on Dantooine, I feel mm. it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. 
Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Hmm. Me get to learn. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun, Kun, you Kun say? was a Jedi the who Kun? fell to the dark side and led an God. army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Signals Kun was everywhere. defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What does this have to do with Revan and All Malik? things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were mm. careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. It's got Mass Effect written all over it. That sounds like a big mistake. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. Did the, Jedi the Republic join in? petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there Just were many like factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict mm -hmm. so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, mm. Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes mm. of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. So Revan did the right thing? No one is denying that Revan was one of the keys to defeating the Mandalorians. But something happened out there on the Outer Rim. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Uh, Everyone the Reapers. thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Oh? That sounds interesting. Where did they Perhaps disappear they to? simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Oh, Three is years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Hmm. Where did Revan get the ships for the Sith fleet? Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design mm, we've never seen. There's before. a reaper. The source of this massive fleet Sorry. is one of the many things I can't about help the Sith it. we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have help created it. it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. Bastards. For Bad two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories. 
and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things oh. have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the Never mantle of Dark theories, Lord for himself, a long time ago. though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Mm. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Don't worry, I'll find a way to stop the Sith. Where are the Academy's archives? Oh, this facility is a training like... academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. Ah, okay. We must protect over-eager Padawans okay. from being exposed to I thought there was more reading or knowledge. listening I had to the do. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly gotcha. understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains uh, many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak. I, the past matters. You guys have made that clear. Uh, what are, uh, okay, so don't worry. I'll Your find a way to stop this. Your admirable, but mm -hmm. you must guard against pride and arrogance. You got These it. These lead to the dark side. Got it. Revan's tale shows sometimes, us how even the greatest of the Jedi can fall you know. to the dark side. I know. You must know. always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. I know. Think hard and the mechanics this of this game. I know. I can. <laughs> got it. Uh, I'll be gone. Force be with. Yo. Uh, do you if have, you have questions, say? you should direct them toward the Jedi. Nope. Your point. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna wrap this episode up, but I do want to know if this will actually. I, I'm probably gonna trigger something bigger here. Mm -hmm.